March 10th, 1940. It's been nearly two weeks since we started this patrol, and I have to admit, I have been surprised at the lack of ships that we have come across. No doubt the Allies are taking a whole new approach to transporting their supplies into England. Intel suggests that they do much of their sailing under the cover of darkness, knowing that it will be more difficult for U-boats to strike them. We are beginning to run low on fuel and supplies, and I calculate that we'll only be able to remain at sea for roughly five days before we need to head back. My plan is to sail towards Liverpool Harbor and lie in wait and allow the cargo ships to come to me and strike them with every last torpedo that we have. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boats and another very beautiful sunrise on March 10th, 1940. We are heading towards Liverpool Harbor. I'm thinking maybe right around here and let the ships come to us because we have been sailing or out at sea at least for almost two weeks and we've only come across that first group that we hit. So it's time to uh, change up our strategy because we still have numerous torpedoes that uh, we need to get rid of. I mean, let's go ahead and check the supply as it stands right now. So four ready to rock and roll and four in reserve, which is just too much. We need to uh, we need to get rid of more of them. I want to try and go back to base with one left, and usually that's the rear torpedo, right? If possible, but we'll see. With fuel as it is right now, it's it's not looking too good. But we really got to change up the strategy. So really quick, as we head to Liverpool again, I just want to say thank you all for everything, all the support, all the love you guys have shown. And again, I just want you guys to send me some recommendations. Comment down below what you would like to see to improve the videos, the streams. We already have a list of video games that we're going to start playing and make videos out of those. But for the quality of the videos and streams, what would you guys like to see? Comment down below, let me know. Always looking to uh, improve the stream, and I know you guys probably have some incredible ideas that we can use. So please let me know but without further ado let's go ahead and do a little bit of time compression here so we have 41 percent fuel left we need to make sure that we're utilizing every little bit of our engineer and navigator to get the most out of our fuel but it's 8 a.m let's go ahead and head to the opening here between ireland and england or south of wales i should call it really and uh See if there's anything lingering by. All right, let's go drop down to periscope depth, please. Go ahead and decrease speed if we can to one, and let's get our hydrophone out and rock and rolling. Here we go. All right. It didn't take long to pick something up. And it is heading, and another one, perfect. Now we're talking. Two heading away and two heading north. You know what we might be able to do is we might be able to catch this one as well as this one. Let's go ahead and head south right now. Let's get ready for this right here. Oh, this is perfect. Looks like we got a little cargo ship heading right towards us. Let's go ahead and get you, Skipper, on the attack periscope if we can, please. Take one off the engine, give you an extra. There we go. Let's see what we're dealing with, shall we? Stop engines. Let this thing arrive. Alright, let's see where it is and what we're having to deal with here. Oh my goodness, and it's a tanker. But already we can't do anything about it. Because what a crying shame to see that coming in and we can't do anything about it. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and let this thing squeeze on by. And we're going to get ready for the one that's coming from the north. Let's go ahead and increase speed, shall we please? Let's get ready to meet this one. Alright, here we go. In our sights, ready to rock and roll. Let's see. Hopefully this is a British ship. Come on, we need British ships. We've been running into too many ships from other countries that are neutral. And yet again, we have another Portugal ship. What is going on with all these ships from Portugal coming up here? We need to knock this off. We need proper British shipping. This is killing us. 
All right, well, let that go on by. Go forward too, and the hunt is uh, continuing. Go ahead and service the boat and head in a little bit further. And we'll use our hydrophone once we get in there. Go ahead and get some rest while you can, because we're going to be calling on you here pretty soon. It's frustrating, I got to say. It's very, very frustrating, but it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. Let's go ahead and forward two, please. We're going to head inland even further and uh, see what's going to ha happen here. Hopefully, we're, we have 214 kilometers to travel. Hopefully, by the time we arrive, it'll be daylight and we'll have better views and not have to deal with the nighttime tactics if at all possible all right so we have arrived at our destination and unfortunately it is 1800 hours and we have a very large group hello we do have one that's directly in front of us however as you can see it is dark out and stormy and I'd rather not have to deal with that. But we have a large group, 14 to 31, heading our way. I dare say we're going to lie and wait and await this uh, this group to come. Let's see if we can try and get a rough course of where they're heading. They're kind of heading right towards us. If we lie and wait here, we very well just might get lucky. You go ahead and go rest right now because we're going to need you here soon. And here we go. They are starting to show up. A very large group. 14 to 31. The only problem we have is we have basically no light. I mean, it is pitch black, as you can see. Definitely not ideal. At all. But we gotta... We gotta do what we can do. Okay, well, there's no doubt that these are British ships. Only large groups like this, it's definitely got to be British. We're not going to be dealing with Portugal or Norway. This is going to be British shipping, but we got to get into a position that allows us to strike. And usually, there's a destroyer at the front of these groups, but there isn't right now. Kind of makes me wonder if they're unaided because they're so close to Allied territory. Course of these coordinates. Oh, goodness. We have an aircraft carrier. We have an aircraft carrier, ladies and gentlemen. We need to take this out. I know we're after cargoes, but 800 meters. Go ahead and stop. We're in a very good spot right now. I think this is... I think we're in a really good spot right now, actually. I'm going to do a little time compression and get this uh, closer. Okay, we are locked on. Go ahead and get... A rough range right now from where we are to it we are at 1.2 kilometers as soon as it's dead in front of us I couldn't tell you what kind of it's an escort carrier we know that at least but is it the illustrious I don't think it's the illustrious is it God, it has to be it's the only one that is there can't see though to save my life we have to take a wild guess on all of this you know what velocity we're just gonna have to take a guess and say it's seven knots. Course. Seven knots. Course. Angle on bow. 89.7 works for me. And a distance of 1,200 meters. Enter that. Roar eins, two, one two. What is the draft? Zwei, on something like this. Roar eins, the illustrious Roar two, draft is seven meters. Okay. So then we need a depth of roughly 3.5. Dispersion of... We'll do 10. Gosh, do we send 3? Yeah. We're sending 3. It's almost time to shoot anyways, so... Roughly 87.6 on the dot, and here we go. We are ready. To send these in three, two, one, fire. Los! Torpedoes away, torpedoes away. And there they go, hopefully towards a nice juicy target. We are going to have to wait. Let's go ahead and 
forward one as we are about ready to be run over here. Hopefully get out of the way and we'll just keep an eye out. We'll dive as soon as we get confirmation that we've hit. Come on, give us good news here. I can't see a friggin' thing. At all. Torpedo was a dud? No way. There we go, there's one hit. Two hits. Perfect. Serious damage, two hits. Ah, the first one was a dud, what a shame. What a crying shame that is. Still can barely see anything right now. Go ahead and change course. You know what, let's go with this uh, boat right here. We're forward two, still. But we're going to stay in the uh, prop blast of this and follow. Well, there's good news. There's uh, life rafts coming from it. The indomitable. Oh, 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 really? Yes! And that is official. It looks like it is sinking. Oh, my goodness. And there is the confirmation. Indomitable sunk. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. We just knocked out a bloody carrier, ladies and gentlemen. That was incredible. Let's go ahead and stop and let these guys roll over if we can. Whoa, Hopefully there's no destroyers. We're going to be on the hunt. We're coming after these. We just got to let them all pass. Yes. I think everyone's passed by. Let's go ahead and surface the boat. Forward two. We're going to tail them. That's my plan right now. Is we're just going to tail behind this group. I don't think there's any destroyers with them. Which is incredible. Once the cover of uh, darkness is done and we get some sunlight here, we can actually lay a full-on attack. Alright, we've traveled down south, which I, I, I'm only assuming this is where they're heading, and I hope they are. Um, we're going to find out. We're going to go ahead and drop down periscope depth, please. Go ahead and get our hydrophone up and running again. Please, please be near. Because that was a perfect route to try and attack. Go ahead and stop all together. Increase that range. Color noise 5 to 12. That could be them. And they just broke up. Oh, we got one right next to us. But we're going to go after this large group again. 6.22 in the morning. This is going to be perfect, actually. Go ahead and go forward two and start getting into position. And here we are. We have picked them up again, definitely. There they are. Beautiful. Any warships, though, that we have to worry about? Are these just all cargoes? There we go. Okay. I knew it was too good to be true. Okay, in the group, we've got this guy. He is roughly 2.1 kilometers away, though. And then we can go after him. So we can knock out two as it stands right now. Go ahead and raise periscope a little bit more, please. Identify the freighter. Get a velocity for these guys as well. Start. I'm assuming seven, as that's usually what it always is, right? But we're gonna find out. And stop, set, six knots. Interesting. A little slower than I thought. Go ahead and load up. Oh my gosh, they're not even warmed up. You're killing me, team. Oh well. This is what we gotta deal with. It's okay though. Bend. Unlock. Find our next uh, target here. Got our freighter ready to rock. We know it's a velocity of 6. Distance of roughly 1.8. 1800 meters. Load seems 2. That torpedo's already covered half its distance, so we need to get this fired ASAP. Let's go. We can knock out 2 out of this convoy and just pick at him. That's all we can do is really just pick at him while we wait. This one's looking all right. It, I don't know. I kind of don't like. We'll find out. That might be a miss. Damn it. It is a miss. Just out the back of it. Just through the back. Okay, though, it happens. Usually why I like trying to take uh, 
shots within 1.5. Treffer. There we go. We got a hit. Perfect. So at least we got one in the group. Now this warship's going to be after us, so let's go ahead and... We're going to use the prop blast. Go ahead and go forward three, maybe even forward four. Let's try and increase that time compression times 12. Hide from this warship. And this is already sunk, it's down. That's not good. We need some prop blast coverage here. Increase by 48. There we go. Go ahead and stop here. And let's drop down to 31 meters. Use that prop blast that's coming over us. Perfect. They won't be able to locate us. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with in terms of destroyer. Prop blast, prop blast, good. Oh my gosh, did they just hit each other? They did! They bloody ran into each other, the fools. Beautiful, and here they are again. Let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with. How close are they? Perfect. Look at that. Nice and close together. This is going to be our group right here then to go for. Go ahead and let them get a little closer. Hopefully that destroyer has just buggered off completely and wants nothing to do with this group now. Okay, so we need to let these guys pass. So we can try and get a simultaneous attack. So we're going to go for right about there. Let's get the torpedo out on this guy first. Looking at two kilometers. So let's set that 2,000 meters. Let's get two one loaded and we're going to send it. Fire. Go ahead and unlock. Next closest target. There we go. We've already got him set and ready to rock. Need an updated distance. 1500 meters. Two, three. Rock and roll, come on. And send it. Whoa! I don't know what went on with our calculations here, but this is definitely going to be a miss. What is going on with that? Whoa! Both of them are a miss? What is... No. There's no way. You know what? It is what it is. So we'll do this. We'll cut in. And we'll go for our new target here. All right, freighter, recognize, we know, seven knots, boom. Course is 136. Super, like, hardcore, and then a distance of 1300. Go ahead and save that. Load oh, to yeah. four, our last one, which is a shame. Get ready to fire it. Oh, yeah. And fire. Treffer. There we go. Feuer on deck. There we go. I'll take that. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Serious damage. I don't think these guys are being escorted, like I said. So let's go ahead and service the boat. Oh! And we have company. They were being escorted. Let's go ahead and head in. We need to dive down. They were being escorted all along. Here comes Big Brother. Come help him out. Time compression times 12. We are at 31 meters. We're going to go just below this uh, cargo since it hasn't sunk yet. And we're going to wait it out. Go ahead and stop the boat. Time compression 140. Remain hidden. Let these guys go ahead. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that was scary. All right, well, let's go ahead and lock on and finish this guy off, shall we? Distance, velocity is zero. Go ahead and load aft tube. We are using the aft tube after, uh, I think this is our first time ever so far using this. 
fünf bewässert. Compression too low. We'll change that. Use Jawohl. a compressor. We are set. Zero velocity and Los. fire. Get ready for that impact, hopefully. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. And there we go. Fire on deck. Then that thing to the bottom. That's all it needed. Beautiful. And they are ages away that they're not even gonna come back. Hell yes. Not bad overall. It sucks that we missed the the two torpedoes for the other guys. That's on me. I take full responsibility for that one. But hey, you know what? Overall, I think we did pretty well. Overall, I gotta say we did really well. Gas is looking at 35%, so that should be just enough for us to actually get back to base. It'll be more than enough, but we'll be pretty low once we start heading back to the Port of Wilhelmshaven. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and set a course here. Start up the engines again, shall we? Forward three. Get you some help, as well as our navigation officer, please. Get you extra one, and we're going to head back to the port. Finally end this long patrol. It is time for a much needed break. Woo, and here we are, arriving back finally. March 15th, 1940. Port of Wilhelmshaven. Feels good to be home. Karl Heinz Schuster has received a new decoration, the U-Boat War Badge with Diamonds. Wow. This decoration is awarded to crew members that participated in eight war patrols. This decoration was instituted from the personal initiative of Admiral Donitz. Wow. Great bloody work, everybody. German Cross and Gold. The German Cross and Gold's newly established decoration award for repeated acts of bravery in combat. It's ranked higher than the Iron Cross and paves the way to reputable Knight's Cross decoration. Crews commonly call this decoration a fried egg due to its shape it has. And Christoph Schmidt. Almost at the Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves and Cross Swords. And he also is going to get his War Badge with Diamonds. Bloody good work. Tonnage War. We have completed the Tonnage War of 100,000 tons. Wow. Congratulations, Skipper. Your mission to disrupt the British Empire trade routes was successful. Your skill as a U-boat captain allowed you to strike at the Empire's biggest weakness, its reliance on maritime trade. Your efforts have weakened the British war effort, and the U-Boat Command is proud of your achievements. Well done. There we go. Tonnage war now up to 200,000. My goodness. Overall, not bad right there. Look at that. Wow. Total tonnage sunk 41,000 tons. Time out at sea, just over two weeks, 15 days and 18 hours. Travel distance, 6,200 kilometers. We definitely did some uh, serious, serious damage here. We got the illustrious air escort carrier, which is beautiful. I mean, I'll take that any day. That is one less carrier for the Royal Navy. It's gonna help us in the long run, especially now that there won't be able to be that many RAF patrols, one carrier less. Reach patrol area. Overall, I gotta say, I'm super happy with this crew. And they, of course, have earned a much needed break. So let's go ahead and get to the Happy recruitment. Ten. Oh, you know what? We need to read the survivors, don't we? I have brought survivors from the sunken ship. Free survivor. There we go. Beautiful. Goodbye. My crew needs a break. And not just a break, but they need a very good break. We're gonna send them back to the German Alps. Let them get some much needed rest. Select. Gentlemen, get out of here. Go enjoy it. That was uh, absolutely incredible. Loved everything they did. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as my crew leave and head towards the German Alps, lucky, I'm sure I have to stay here and do some paperwork, talk to command about what's going to happen next. I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode. I know I have. Really fun. A shame at the end there. Again, though, I take full responsibility. Missed those torpedoes. Got to gotta be able to work on that. Um, but really thoroughly enjoy this episode if you guys have enjoyed it please consider giving it a thumbs up it helps me out helps the channel out, and helps get this video out so many more can see it likewise if you did like the video please consider commenting down below let me know what you guys would like to see in future videos again also comment down below what you would like to see to improve the stream and uh, make it better make it better for your guys's viewing pleasure please let me know 
Also, if you are new to the channel and you like what you saw in this series and you want to see more in this series and other series coming out like it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Try and get a video out once weekly, and I'm trying to up that to like two to three times a week now. So that's the plan going forward. Anyways, I'm going to get back at it. Let these guys have their break, brief supply the ship, and we're going to come back stronger than ever and get back out there and start sinking ships. But until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?